What's up everybody, Slade here. What's going on guys, it's Moody Tuco. And we're back today for the M4A1S tier list. Now, this one is going to be hard because the M4A1S is loaded with fire skins. I think this is the most stacked gun in CS2. It, it, all of these skins look amazing, so we're going to have to be pretty uh, brutal in terms of the ranking and very, you know, like subjective. But this is going to be really fun, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, we're going to dive straight into it. Alright, so the Moss Quartz is actually quite nice in CS2. I think it got a massive upgrade compared to CSGO. It has this nice anodized green finish. And considering that there's, the green skins tend to be Boreal Forest or like US military looking camos, this is a good mix up. And I don't really see it that much in game. I think this is pretty underrated. Uh, I think it's a great skin. My opinion. Uh, for sure. Great skin. Looks great. Big upgrade in uh, CS2. It's got nice design. Overall, it's a solid green skin. If you're looking for green, it's a you know great looking m 4 a one s in my opinion, I think this is a solid B tier. Yeah. Now, the Knight, I always loved the Knight in CSGO. I just liked how minimal it is. But man, they did a great job in CS2. It's a sleek. This is, uh, you know, the black on gold color scheme is absolutely unbeatable. It is so beautiful. The light hits it. It's bright. It's vibrant. The skin, it doesn't need any crazy designs, drawings, any crazy colors. It's just sleek and, and it does it well. It's just such a good skin. And I absolutely think this is one of the best M4A1S skins in the game. I mean, you can't really say much about the knight other than how nice it looks. I know a lot of people tend to think that this knight is a little overrated, but I think they factor in the price too much. You gotta remember, this is a legendary skin. This is in the same collection as the dragon lore, so it's gonna have the legacy. When you look at the skin from an objective lens, though, you have so many nice details. I think the gold accents on the skin are some of the best that you have in the game. The gold buffer tube, the gold engravings around the gun, and also the handguard having the gold lines just looks unreal. And I think... This skin is worth every cent. Would I personally buy one? Probably not. But I would say it's one of the better skins in the game for the M4A1S. I think it's nest here. I absolutely. Yes, sir. So the Basilisk is a, actually, I would describe another OEM plus uh, M4A1S. If you prefer more grounded skins that have a more realistic look to them, then look no farther than the Basilisk. It's pretty much a stock M4A1S, but it has this crazy snake in the middle of the gun. I think it looks pretty good, especially with the new normal maps. You can actually see the engravings on it. It looks quite nice, and I mean, for the price, I, I don't think you really ask for much more. I don't actually think the skin's that cheap, but... Uh, it's, it's, yeah, I think it's a $10 cheap. skin. It's a $10, $10 skin. skin. For right, the yep. price that you pay, it's a great-looking skin, and without factoring price, I think it's a good-looking skin overall. I like the... You know, the like uh, Moody said, the engravings look great. If you're looking for, like, OEM+, Plus, boom, this is a great skin. Let's uh, toss this and beat. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a little bit worse than the Moss Quartz, but both look good. Okay, so let's talk about the dark water. Um, it does look better from CSGO to CS2. It's a very dark skin. It's pattern based. Uh, it, it looks good in its own right in terms of just being one color. The pattern is very, uh, you know, like low key, but it does look good. Um, I won't say it's anything crazy. It's not the best skin in the game. It's, it's decent and I will leave it at that. Yeah, I mean, I think it has some legacy. I believe this came out in the CSGO weapons case. So this is a pretty, you know, old skin. Probably why it's a little more on the boring side. Uh, I don't think it's really anything spectacular. You know, it's just a black-ish, grayish M4A1S. If you're opium, you probably like this. You know, shot to good dough. <laughs> this skin is it's fine. And I think it's kind of expensive for what you get, but it's all right. You know, I think I would love to give it a C tier, but I think objectively there are worse skins. B tier. It's definitely not any. I would say it's better than the Basilisk for sure. Below the Moss Quartz. Yeah. All right. So the Guardian is just a blue kind of matte m4a1s it has the ct logo on the hand on the uh, mag which i mean i think it's fine this is kind of a boring ish skin to me I, I would honestly say that i wouldn't be surprised if this was like at one point the stock skin for the m4a1s like it just doesn't really stick out to me at all if you like grounded skins this is probably a skin you want but other than that yeah i mean it looks like a cheaper skin and it is uh but actually it's not that cheap i think it's like 35 bucks in fn but i mean I, I i can't say this is a too crazy of a skin there's a ton of cattle crafts on it but that's because it's old it doesn't look the craziest it looks you know it looks decent i don't have too much to say about it it's i i think this is a c tier i would love to put it in b tier because of its age but it, i think it's a c tier it's definitely a c tier skin yeah. uh it's just not that great looking unfortunately all right, jumping into an absolute banger of an M4A1S is the Hot Rod, one of my favorites, and for a couple reasons. A, it reminds me of Iron Man, that like steel red finish, like spray painted finish, along with the silver outlines, the mag, uh, just all the little parts, it's colored perfectly. 
it's just an elegant skin. It doesn't need less similar to the knight. It's got the same formula as the knight where it's two-tone. Looks absolutely amazing. The shine is perfect. It really makes it look like it's metal. And uh, you're either Team Phosphor or Team Hot Rod. In my opinion, I like the Hot Rod a little bit more, but we'll get to the Phosphor a little bit later. I think the Hot Rod is an absolutely beautiful standout in 4A1S. Yeah, I mean, I can't really add too much more than that. I think the Hot Rod has a little bit more versatility, in my opinion, than the Blue Phosphor because of the contrast of the Silver Magazine and Silver Buffer Tube. Um, I mean, and I think because it has that contrast, it gives it a little bit more craft diversity because you can run silver foils or you can run red stickers. And because you have those two different dichotomies, I think it's just way better than the, not way better, but I think it's a more preference for me over the blue phosphor. I think this is a legendary skin. It looks great. S tier. S tier at 41S. All right, so the player two, this skin is pretty funny in my opinion. I think it's super colorful and actually kind of kind of cute. Honestly, you got that CT on the side. Uh, you know, he's cussing probably because he spent all of his money on skins as the buffer <laughs> tube implies. Um, no, but seriously, this skin's kind of noisy, but I think it does the noisiness in a right way. It doesn't have too many clashing colors. It, it It's almost so varied in look that it kind of comes together as one skin, if that makes sense. I actually like the skin a decent amount. For sure. No, I love the color. That gun came out of nowhere. I love this gun. Uh, it's cool. Uh, okay, real quick. This thing looks insane with the gloves. Oh my god. That's yeah, just that such a crazy combo. But besides the point, I think this is a cool skin. It's very colorful. It has an anime vibe to it. A um, lot of combos in terms of gloves, uh, in terms of loadouts. I think this is a great skin. It looks amazing, similar to the Hyper Beast in that regard, where it's a ton of colors. I think this is an overall fantastic skin. Does it deserve S tier? I don't think so. I think this Definitely is an absolutely not. solid A tier. A to your skin, 100%. Oh boy, okay, the flashback. Now, this is a super stylized skin. Either love it or you hate it. I'm indifferent to it where I don't think the colors are great, nor do I like the design. I get that's like this Vietnam theme, like uh, M4A1S. Um, I, I don't like, I don't really like the, the art choice with this skin. It's not very flashy. It, it's, I don't know, it's not my thing and I can't rate it too high because of it. You know, I think this is for the Wasteland Rebel enjoyers who just love those gritty looking skins. Um, I think this is like the, the CT equivalent of the Wasteland Rebel. And you know how I feel about the Wasteland Rebel. I think the thing is kind of ass. This skin is not as ass as the Wasteland Rebel. I think this is actually a somewhat okay skin. Like the colors are not great on it. And I think there was a lot more potential for a Vietnam look than just a peace sign and make love, not war. Like, come on, man, that's on the nose in my opinion. I would like it's to say I, it looks dated to me. It does. Uh, it's between C and D tier. What do you think? I think it's it's a C tier skin personally, but I I would not be up against putting it in D tier. If if I had to choose, I would choose the uh, Guardian before that. Uh, yeah, before the I definitely would. Viola. I think it's a high D tier. I I just don't think it deserves C tier. Yeah, I, I'm fine with that. All right, let's get into a legendary skin, the M4A1S Hyper Beast. I actually owned one of these a long time ago, and I still think about it to this day. You know, the Hyper Beast is of course just a skin that sticks out in everyone's mind probably up next to the uh asimov in terms of legendariness you have this beautiful beast with these nice deep pinks these reds these greens and these blues and i think now that they fix the wear on this skin mm, it looks great in cs2 they changed the hues on it it's a lot brighter and a lot more neon and that makes sense and i think that levels the skin up from honestly being would i say a good skin to a great skin uh, I don't have much to add. I love this skin. I love seeing it in game. It's colorful. I love the design. The guy who makes all the Hyper Beast skins is an insanely talented artist. I always love his work. And and oh. we love this skin. I don't know why. That was a misclick. No, but <laughs> we love this skin. And I think it's going to land straight into, for me, it would be top of A tier. Yeah, I 100% agree. This is definitely an A tier skin. Okay, now uh, Cyrex, definitely an underlooked uh, red and white uh, M4A1S skin. It's cool. I like it. Minimal design, good colors. Uh, did it get a huge update from CSGO to CS2? I don't think so, but it always looked good. You know what I'm saying? It's a solid skin. Uh, I do recommend it to people who want like a red and white and black color scheme. It's definitely a great looking M4. Um, nothing of the cra crazy, you know, uh, skins, but it it's a solid skin. No, I think the Cyrex is is fine. I do think the carbon fiber on it is really cool. However, because the carbon fiber is on the buffer tube and actually like the receiver part, I think it's kind of sad that they didn't put it on more parts of the gun. Like, I think if it was carbon fiber, white and red, it would be insane. But for it, it's serviceable. You got the CS2 dude on the front. I mean, what can you say? You know, not bad. 
I'm kind of torn. I think this is a B. I'm not even, I'm not going to say I'm, I I think it's a B tier. I'm not going to pretend like it's a C. Yeah, I, as much as I would love to say C tier for whatever uh, reason, it's definitely not that bad. I would prefer it over the Basilisk probably. Uh, Agreed. So I would say B tier. Ma matter of fact, uh, maybe Dark Water. I think or this is a pretty Dark good Water too. I, I, I do Dark Water, not more than the Moss Quartz. Oh boy, the m 4 Saurus X. <laughs> I, this skin, man, I understand what they were going for. You know, they want the Jurassic Park theme. You got the Jurassic Park colors. I think this skin looks goofy, bruh. I don't know what it is about this skin. It's the colors and it's the dinosaur. I see they're trying to go for the 3D effect, but low key, the dinosaur's kind of making me mad, bro, because he's 3D and it just looks wonky on the side of this gun. I, I can't pretend like I like this skin at all. I, I actually quite hate this skin. For them, for A1S, this is definitely one of the lower parts of it, in my Dude, opinion. Dude, this is a Jurassic mid. I, I hate everything about this skin. I hate the colors. They're, they're, they're terrible. I'm sorry. You know what this, you know what the artwork reminds me of? You know, like those little, like, uh, things you can buy on Amazon stickers that you peel, you stick to your wall, and it looks like the dinosaur is coming out of it? Bro, this is the equivalent, bro. This skin is ass. I'm sorry. I don't want to see this thing in game. This thing annoys me, okay? This I'm, I'm, I'm not even trying to be a hater right now. I'm I'm so serious. I hate this skin. Oh, I don't like this skin at all, bro. And my, I, in F -tier. We're what putting it in F tier. Okay. Alright, back back to great skins. We've got the Icarus Fell, the super vibrant pattern based you know skin i love it it's from one of my favorite collections i love the pattern on it it goes well with like the icarus you know um the uh, mythology in terms of like the feathers the sun the wax melting super cool idea behind it executed really nicely a lot of different patterns you can get where you can get the centered sun you can get the super dark pattern um so much versatility with it very bright i love this skin and i think it's absolutely excellent yeah, I think the Icarus Fell is one of those skins that you automatically gravitate to thinking about getting when you have a blue pair of gloves because it is probably one of the prettiest blue skins in the game. Uh, the contrast between the black and the really bright neon blue looks great on, in my opinion. And, I mean, of course, it's legacy as well, so you gotta give it as props where it deserves it. Uh, Icarus Fell is excellent. I think it's a top of A tier skins for me, but I think it deserves S tier for Legacy at the same time. So I'm fine with wherever you want to put it. I honestly think it's a S tier. I, I do think it's a little bit better than Hyper Beast, and I think Hyper Beast is the cap of A. It's the absolute top. I can't argue with that reasoning. Hey, Chris, is amazing, and we absolutely love it. All right, man. The briefing is nothing special. I mean, I get it. It's supposed to look like a briefing before you go raid someplace, but honestly, the only thing that's raiding is my bank account after I get it from a case. Get this shit out of my face. It's like a deep tier skin. I don't have much to say about it. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, briefing got cooked. I, I, I don't have much to add. I don't like it. Colors are passable, but other than that, design is terrible. I think it's a uh, D or C. Does it deserve C? It, it no. is better. I would say it's better than the, I would say it's better than the uh, Vietnam gun. Yeah, I guess so. I think we, I, I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm, I'm gonna right. like, you, you know, be heavenly carry it up to the next tier. I'm, I'm just gonna give it its pass. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I'll let it slide by. Now, uh, the Nightmare is a skin that I included as a uh, similar skin to the Icarus. If you like the Icarus, take a look at the Nightmare. And uh, I do like the skin. It's got very, you know, same things that I mentioned in another video. Very similar color scheme. Design is similar as well. But we have artwork on this skin. And it's a pretty cheap skin overall. You can pick this up for, I think, 20 bucks in Minwear, 30 in Fact New. Cool skin, cool colors. I like the design of the demon in the middle. And uh, overall, it's a pretty, you know, up there skin for me. You know, man, this is like the Icarus fake, you know, like it looks like an Icarus fell from a distance. You know how many times I've seen in game that and I'm like, oh my God, an Icarus. And then I walk up to it and it's a nightmare. That by no means is that like a slander to the skin. That's a good really thing. Good. That's a good thing. That's yeah. a great thing. If you look like the Icarus fell, it's already a good start. The colors are almost identical. And the only difference is really that it, this is an artwork versus a pattern based skin. And of course the price. Now for the price, you're getting a good skin. I think this is a B tier skin in my opinion. For sure. All right, so we got the print stream. Now, this skin definitely got a downgrade from CSGO, but that's mostly because of one reason, and that's because the pearlescent effect is broken right now. Uh, when they fix it, I think it will be just as good, and, and if not better, but this skin has so much potential in CSGO because it had that tech wear look with the beautiful uh, pearlescent. You would see it in different lightings in the map, and it would be insane. Now, it just looks like a white and black m 4 one s It still is clean as hell. I think it's great, but it's not as good. Good skin. I remember in CSGO, this is this is the first expensive skin I ever got. Um, it was a uh, minimal wear, but I loved it. The pearlescent effect was unbelievable, and now it's just 
a shell of what it used to be. Now, even without its amazing, you know, pearlescent effect, it still looks like a great skin. Had it still had, if it was the CSGO version in CS2, it would actually be the best M4A1S in the game. Yep. But since it got a massive nerf, I think it's uh, A tier, top of A tier. Yeah. I think that's I think that's fair. I, I would love to put it in S tier, but it doesn't deserve S tier without its pearlescence. Not that right was now. that was its main like feature, main you know like characteristic, and it's gone now. Okay, uh, the Chantico's Fire. This is a definitely divisive skin. It's super noisy. Uh, very bright color scheme, bright patterns, patterns everywhere. Um, I'm I'm okay with this skin. I think it kind of looks pretty cool. If you, if you like this type of design, I think this is a great pickup for a red inventory or yellow. But for the average person, this might be a little bit too much. It, I think it overdoes it with the designs, you know, plastering the whole gun. Uh, it's, it's a pretty cool skin overall, though. You know, uh, I think the one that gets cool parts to me is, is that, you know, CSGO skins tend to, or CS2 skins tend to pull a lot from mythology. And this is like the one, I would say, Aztec mythology skin, if I believe Chantico is a... Aztec, you know, mythological figure. I think it's a deity. So, that's that's kind of cool. But other than that, I mean, that doesn't, that don't help the skin that much, for my opinion. It's a little too much going on. It's I don't know. I... Uh, it's between. I would like to put it in C. I think it deserves B. If I find being objective um, here, I want to put it in C as well. But I'm okay with with B tier. I think I think I think we should put it in B tier here. All right. Yeah. Let's let's do that. We'll put it above uh, the design bathroom. wise. It's better than what we have in C tier right now. True. Yeah. True. All right, so I think it's another divisive skin to an extent. I've actually heard a lot of discourse about the Masterpiece. I personally think this skin looks quite nice. I like the details on the Masterpiece. I like the graffiti look on the middle. I, I, I'm a big fan of graffiti art, so I think it looks really cool. Um, the blue is nice, but honestly, the main centerpiece is this nice uh, graffiti kind of center on it. I just think it looks good. I don't. I don't think. I think people hate overhated, in my opinion. It's overhated. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I definitely think it's overhated. This is like my guilty pleasure of a skin. Like I don't tell people I like the skin, but secretly I really do. Uh, I would like to rate it high, but I know, uh, I know majority of the community doesn't agree with that. I just find the 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 design of it really cool. I like how it kind of like um, the skin basically like zooms into the middle where we have the the writing. Cool colors on the actual graffiti piece as well I, I would love to put it in a does it deserve a i think it's a b tier skin uh, through through, uh, I yeah think. I, I think i, I can agree with that uh, like i would personally put it in a but i think yeah, i think you're right moody i think it should go in b though I, i'm okay with putting it in yeah top of b i think it's good so the mecha industries it's like the half brother of the print stream with colors uh but it's more of an industrial looking skin with like the the bright orange the the like uh white color and the black um pretty cool skin i like the little like uh symbols on it the design it's a pretty good looking skin uh, it's very streamlined and um you know it's, it's it's a solid high mid to high tier skin for me yeah you know i think the mecha industry's got a huge upgrade in cs2 i was not a big fan of the skin in csgo i used to think it looked kind of wonky but the colors are a lot more defined now and i think it looks really nice now with this white beige and black look kind of gives you that gundam look which i think is what they're going for that's why it's called mecha industries i think it looks great i'm gonna say i think i i, I think it actually deserves either an a tier it might be an a tier I, think for it's me. A, I think it's a tier i think it's a fair a tier skin yeah okay we got leaded glass now i think the colors on this skin is what holds it back the most for me i do think the 3d effect on it is really nice if you were to change the colors to a more if work together better i think this skin would be night and day way better honestly you know obviously it's a long shot and it will never change it but if they had like, the fade colors this thing would be insane so yeah I, I, as it is right now it's i i i do really like the 3d effect i really mm -hmm. do uh, i think this is a decent because this is a super cheap m4 and m4a1s skins are not cheap by any means they're super True. expensive so this is a good budget option when we compare it to you know everything else it's definitely nowhere near the top and this is somewhere in the middle for me um maybe a tiny bit overhated in my opinion i think i like the you know the 3d effect is super cool on it i i i, I would give it a b or c what do you think i think c is too brutal it definitely is not light years ahead of the guardian the briefing i do think if we have the basilisk in b and the chanticos then it deserves a b too for sure 
Okay, so the Night Terror. Um, it is held in regard with the community pretty highly because of its price and how it wears. And um, it has a really, really cool wear pattern where it turns purple. Let me pull that up right now. Yeah, so here's how it looks in Battle Scarred. And man, this thing... Okay, this looks really, really cool. It looks way better than the Fact New. The, this really cool purple color yeah. really shines. This is this is a good-looking skin. See, I, I, I don't like the Fact New ones. I do really like the Battle Scarred ones. Um, and, uh, overall design, in my opinion, is a bit cluttered. If it weren't for the Battle Scarred variant, this would be, like, a creepypasta-ass looking gun. Like, <laughs> Jeff the Killer looking gun, like, it got never sleep. You're like, bro, okay. It's like, edgy, bro. <laughs> it's so edgy, it's so over the top, like, I think it looks really good in this Battle Scar. Honestly, low-key, this kind of made me reconsider where I was gonna put it. But, yeah, in fact, new, I always get sad when I pull this gun. I'm like, dude, this yeah, thing does not look just, that good in my opinion. You see it all the time. Now. Fact new, this would be like a D tier for me, and I would say C tier. I think we put it in C tier. I think it can, it can go C tier because of the battle scar. Uh, I think it deserves to go in C tier. I know a lot of people would love for us to have it higher, but I'm sorry, I I don't think it's as nice as anything that's in B tier. All right, so the decimator. Now the decimator is obviously one of these skins that just looks great, especially in CS2. I don't remember it being reflective. Which it's re I super reflective, yeah. Yeah, like, it, I don't remember being reflective in CS GO, so this looks really nice now. I mean, come on. The Decimator just has that kind of Hotline Miami sort of retro vibe. It kind of looks like when you look up... Vaporwave. Vaporwave. It's Vaporwave. That's what I'm basically. It's a Vaporwave yeah. gun. Looks cool. Yeah. Oh, looks sick. I think the Decimator was meant for the A1S. It looks good on the Tech 9 The A1S, it's a banger. I, you know, the color of, like, the silencer, the mag, the handle, the barrel. Uh, not the barrel. The stock. Everything just is perfect. The colors are done very nicely. Fractalized look looks sick. And uh, very nice and bright. Super cool for Neon Inventories. I included it because it looks amazing. And I think this is an absolutely solid A tier. Absolutely. You're definitely an A tier skin, no doubt. Next up, we got the Golden Coil. Now, this skin, man, mm, this is a nice looking skin, in my opinion. I think this skin has such a classy look. It has the ivory handle, like a talon, but then the rest of the skin has this black and gold snake look. You know, obviously, you know, we got the, we got the, the, the snake in the middle, the snake tail running through the buffer tube and on the buttstock with these flower with these flower accents. This skin looks great. I don't really know how people can't like this skin. I think some people think it's a little bit underwhelming. I think this skin looks lovely and I think it's worth every single dime. I have one and I love running it every time I get it. This skin to me screams elegance. It's just beautiful. Nice golden colors like yeah, Moody mentioned. The ivory handle is really nice. I love the snake skin uh, on the silencer. It's really cool. I think they did. I, if they added more stuff to it, I think it would be cluttered. It's, it's the mm -hmm. less is more type of mantra deal here and, and they just nailed the elegant look of this skin. It's a great pickup for the price. If you're looking for gold, if you like snakes, it's such an elegant looking skin that I think it easily deserves A tier. A tier for sure. All right, I think we are at the most controversial skin uh, for the M4A1S, and we've got the Imminent Danger. And uh, I did not like it in CSGO, I'll be honest. I, I, I thought it was just so cluttered. I'm not a big fan of overly cluttered random color skins, but when I got to look at it in game for, you know, multiple times, I gained an appreciation for it. They really nailed the metal steel look and all of the colors on it really just pops off on the background of that steel look. It definitely looks like it's made out of at least steel, full steel plated uh, with a ton of like different like uh, drawings and artwork on it. I, I think they did a great job, uh, honestly. Uh, as much as would I run this in game? Probably not. Can I appreciate this skin? I can. I, I really do like it, honestly. I think I can understand why people don't like the skin, but I think it has it's, it's some really good merits. This definitely has that blue collar look and it has almost a definitely construction zone type of look. You know, you got the danger hard hat. And I think this is one of the best uh, skins for those uh, those caution stickers without a doubt because that just fits the vibe of it i think this is definitely a overhated skin in my opinion like very overhated um but i can see why uh, i get it you're you're either gonna hate this placement or love it obviously some people want to see it in f some people want to see it in s i think it's a solid skin i'm open to a or b i want to put it in b below the masterpiece that's, that's yeah for spot, sure but... i think you're right yeah 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 but uh, uh, it's not as insane. good as everything in a but um it's definitely a b tier skin for sure Boreal Forest, I don't really got much to say. This skin you definitely get, you got like 50 kills in COD. I'm pretty sure you get this in every single FPS game that has like 
camos that you unlock. It's so boring. I have like I have like ten drops of these. I don't want to see this shit ever again. Yeah, yeah, honest. it's just a boring skin. I don't I don't see this as a good skin at all or a skin not even worth talking about. I think it goes straight to D tier and yep. we'll go from there. I love the control panel. Excellent mapping on the skin. Very cool aesthetic to it, especially from the new collection. The steel look of it is really nice. The the barrel, the silencer, it's very industrial looking. Um, I like the blue in the middle. It has a really cool craft with those lenticulars where it's like the all the TVs with the little guy there. It matches so well. Uh, overall, just a cool skin. I love the silver on gray. And uh, I, I think it's a fire skin that's underrated in my opinion. Yeah, I don't think why pe I don't understand why people will hate the control panel. To me, this is probably the best use of the normal mapping for this industrial look. People ask me why I don't like the Phobos, it's because the Phobos doesn't look like this. Okay, that this this skin has what the Phobos does, and it has the the nice reds and greens, the almost uh, computer look with the with the control. I mean, it's a control panel. Come on, it's a control panel at a nuclear facility. It looks great. I'm gonna vouch for this skin and say it's an A tier. I I it, I think it deserves A tier. I yeah, really do. I think that's I think that's more than fair. Uh, bottom bottom of A tier, but I do think sure. it deserves A tier. We have the bright water guys. This skin is fine. It's a blue boreal forest. It looks better because it's blue and it's not as boring, but it's still boring because it's a camo skin. Uh, that's it. That's literally it. That's everything about this skin. Let's be honest. It's a C tier and uh, it's not a, there's nothing noteworthy about it. I mean, uh, to have good skins, you need to have bad skins and mid skins. And this is definitely mid in my opinion. It's nothing crazy. It's a boring pattern. Colors are whack. Um, overall, I don't think this is a good skin and I would definitely not run it in game. Now, it's, it's not a terrible skin. Don't get me wrong. It's not terrible. I just don't like it. It's mid. It's nothing special. It has a little bit more juice on like the board like over the boreal forest but this is definitely like a skin i'd get as a drop and be like ah okay yeah <laughs> i th think it's a it's a c tier yeah or uh c tier yeah it looks c -tier okay. for sure definitely better than d all right guys we are back to the nice skins finally we had a little bit of a boring lull there but we are back atomic alloy is one of these skins that takes the ethos of the hot rod it takes the ethos of the night and it just applies it to a nice orange this time it looks great it has the orange buffer tube the orange barrel with the nice matte black top up top of the gun it looks good i think the atomic alloy is honestly a skin i don't see that often at all and i think i don't really understand why i think it looks great absolutely yeah uh, you covered basically all of it looks really good very bright and uh, is pretty well reasonably priced. I, I think it's a solid, in my opinion, B tier skin. Yeah. Absolutely deserves B tier ranking. Probably a uh, higher B tier, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that's a good spot for it right there. Uh oh boy, uh the very camo, aka it varies from uh D to F, and I think for today it's gonna go in F for me, bro. This thing <laughs> is hideous. Guys, please. If you're running the very camo, do yourself a favor and buy a boreal forest. I know I said the boreal forest is boring, but it is way better than this thing, man. Poopy brown, come on, come on. Nah, this thing, this thing is actually hideous. This is actually F tier for real. Yeah, this is a serious F tier. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, here is the alternative: the blue phosphor. So as you know, the hot rod is its competitor, and I think the blue phosphor is a worthy competition. Now instead of having the kind of accented uh, silvers we just have the straight up blue with a little bit of black on it and i gotta say the blue phosphor is super duper clean plus it is actually on the new model which i do think is a an advantage over the M the hot rod i think if you love this skin rightfully so it looks great nice pretty blue shines like a diamond it looks great it's like an m4a when a sapphire yeah 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 for sure uh, it's a great looking skin I, I love you know the hot run and the phosphor uh both i think they're good looking and if you like this one absolutely understand it's an absolute beauty of a skin um it just looks wonderful it's very bright great finish straight to s tier s tier for sure all right guys we have everyone's favorite trade up profit loss gun <laughs> the nitro um yeah i mean it's like an atomic alloy but they took out the atomic and they left the alloy it's orange and boring and black it's all mad there's not really anything to say about this gun it's just kind of um there i'll, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and say it's like a oem plus but with orange uh it's oh it's an okay yeah. skin yeah. it's it's a mid-tier for in my opinion 
But if you, you know, if you show me this, I won't be like, oh, nice skin. I'll just be like, okay, I mean, it's decent. You replaced your stock M4, and uh, this is absolutely a C tier skin, in my opinion. C -tier skin, 100%. Top, top of C tier. Yeah, yeah. Now, the Welcome to the Jungle might be the most slept on red collection skin in, in the game, and I, I think that's crazy. I think this is a gorgeous skin. Um, the snake is very vibrant with the yellow. The color palette is excellent in terms of these different shades of red, pink. Um, I like the jungle theme. I, I, just everything about it, the way the snake coils. It's a very streamlined skin with how the snake, uh, is orientated. The wear pattern is really cool because in super high wear, it gets a snake skin like mesh on it, which is really cool. I really like that. And the Aztec theme is matched perfectly with this, like, um, you know, snake design. Beautiful skin, gorgeous artwork. I absolutely love this thing. Yeah, I can't believe people really don't even talk about this skin that much because I think it's highly underrated. I remember when Slade first picked one of these up, I played with it. I was like, yo, how have I never heard about this skin like before? It's actually kind of insane. And apparently other people haven't heard about it either because I've never seen one game, one in game. I think I might be seen one. <laughs> yeah. And that's sad. That's sad. Because it looks great. It looks great. Uh, I think it's one of the best M4A1Ss in the game. Super slept on, super underrated. 100%. S tier, man. S tier skin. I think it's super underrated. Last, we have this skin, which I did not even know existed. It is the Fizzy Pop, which I just realized is the M4A1S version of the Op Pop. Op, Op. Op. Yeah, 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 yeah. I literally just um, not noticed that. That's crazy. Now, I was about to say this skin is trash, but actually, it's, you know, I'm still going to say it. It's kind of trash, in my opinion. Isn't I don't it? like the skin. Yeah. I didn't know it existed. I didn't either. It's on, it is new model. That doesn't help it. And uh, the colors are what just bring it down, honestly. It just, it's a bad color palette. Sad that we have yeah. to end off on a pretty mid skin for this list. But overall, so many good skins. Uh, D tier, man. I said in D -tier. my opinion. It's just not good. Dude, maybe C. Should we spare it? Yeah, I spare it. Because we'll spare it and bad, toss it in C. I, I still think it's D tier, but yeah, we'll spare it. So here's our final tier list for all of the M4A1Ss. So an S tier, Hot Rod, Blue Phosphor, Welcome, we've got the Knight and the Icarus. All givens, absolutely gorgeous skins, look amazing. A tier is filled with excellent skins that all look really good, very colorful, very sleek and elegant skins. B tier, um, definitely a lot of great skins as well. They tend to be, you know, cheaper. And this is what I wanted to mention is... A lot of people say, oh, but you only pick the expensive skins for the high tiers. Well, typically with a market, the more desirable something is, the more expensive it is. It's not like we're picking things off of price. We only take a look at the looks. We include, we factor in, you know, price to performance, but ultimately it comes down to looks and everything yeah. in S, A, and B all looks good. Anything, you know, once we get to C, it's, it's okay skins they're not good b is good a looks amazing s is great everything below c is not good looking you know c is passable d is pretty bad f is atrocious i think that's that's a great explanation in my opinion this probably was one of the more fun lists i think we've done so far i actually really enjoyed looking through the s skins i forgot how legendary of a gun this is to be honest Dude, so many good it's just stacked we this might be divisive just because there's so many good ones so please let us know in the comments did we misplace something significantly and uh if you guys want to talk to us we would love to hear from you guys join the discord in the link below uh, we'd love to talk to you guys and play cs2 with you and uh we hope you guys enjoyed this video yeah guys peace out have a good one